When you think about the first time we met, what do you remember? Mm. <laughs> I guess I just remember the newness of it all, like just all the smells and I immediately like wanted to be let in in some way like to your heart and so I think I was just asking you like really deep questions. <laughs> I remember we went on that road trip together and we started talking about like our mental health and our upbringing and everything and that was so special to me. We we're like sitting on this cliff looking at <laughs> this glimmering water and just like getting to know those soul parts of each other. That was like so special but yeah I just remember wanting to touch that part of you. I remember that too. <laughs> <laughs> it happened. So. It's happening now. <laughs> How do you describe our relationship to other people? Um, well, I was talking to my boyfriend about this when you asked me to do it. Mm -hmm. And um, I told him I'm still just like trying to learn as much as I can about you and the rest of my siblings. Yeah. And that I feel like I relate to you the most in a different way than I relate to our other siblings just because of our thoughts and <laughs> we have very very similar thinking patterns and just yeah oh that's beautiful <laughs> do you say like like when people ask you about your siblings if you have siblings do you just say like all of our names yes well I always say like well I grew up as an only child but I'm actually one of five and then it leads to like okay tell me the whole story right now oh, okay <laughs> yeah, yeah kind of same I'm like, I grew up, I always have to count, even though it's not that many siblings. I'm like, I grew up with I'm missing? <laughs> three siblings, and then I recently met my fourth sibling, and then everyone's like, what do you mean? And then, yeah. The story just kind of unravels. <laughs> what are you hesitant to ask me? Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, I have always just been curious how you feel about our mom, like, putting you up for adoption, or if she ever if you ever had that conversation with her? Um, sort of. It's kind of a sensitive subject, I guess. I don't want to like overstep yeah. my boundaries, but I do have that curiosity. Um, so the first time we spoke on the phone, I think I was 18, and that I was in shock. So the only thing I could ask her was, um, what's my nationality and do I have any siblings? And first thing she said to me was, my nationality, and then she said that I only had one sister, and it was. Whoa! Oh my <laughs> God! Didn't tell me about you guys. <laughs> and that was the only thing I asked, and then the conversation ended. Um, Were you surprised about how her voice sounded, or? Um, I was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. I wasn't like. I didn't know what to expect, but it was yeah. definitely. A, I don't know. And Dif then different. Yeah. What was like? your next conversation or when did you guys um, have like so we stopped communicating for a little bit um but i had tried to reach out and didn't hear back uh so then she had told me about so i looked for and i found and then i started asking <laughs> more <laughs> questions because yeah. we were living so close to each other and yeah hanging out a lot more so i felt more comfortable asking her I'm just taking that in. Like, <laughs> thank you for answering that. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you do you wish that you had grown up like in our family, with our mom? Um, yeah, I, I mean, part of me does, but then I wouldn't have had all the experiences that like made me who I am today with like the family that I do have. Mm -hmm. um. mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's cool because I just feel like my family's gotten like double the size. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now we can like exchange stories. <laughs> exactly. And learn from each other. Just mistakes. missed all the fighting and now we're like adults and get to <laughs> Wait, that's hang so out. true. <laughs> because you probably would have fought so much. We would have fought so much. You probably would have punched me in the face <laughs> like <laughs> I did. Aww. Probably. <laughs> yeah. I feel like we both had such crazy childhoods that part of me was like when I found out about you, I was like, oh, well, maybe she ended up having a better life because her parents had money or whatever. But then I met you and I realized we both had like troubled, you know, youths. And I was like, okay, well, <laughs> that's just the <laughs> universe. Like, yeah, we would have just ended up however we were supposed to anyway. And so. How did you yeah. hear about me? Like, um, do you remember mom telling you or? She was really trying to be brave when she told me. Like she knew that she had to tell me and maybe 
it sounded like part of her wasn't ready necessarily to just share that, but she was really being brave and I could hear her crying on the phone. And I started crying and I just immediately like wanted to love you. I was like, <laughs> I really need this person <laughs> to know that I care about them so much and I don't even know them. And um, I know she told the rest of the family and my, our uncle, like he started crying and he literally had to leave the room because he has like such a big heart. And that is. Um, how are we most similar and how does that scare you? How are we most similar? Any self-destructive <laughs> habits? <laughs> um, I think just going through the same motion of like feeling like depressed at one point in our life and talking about that the second time that we hung out and just instantly laying it all out for each other, <laughs> that really helps me connect to you just because like you understood what I was going through at the time and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe our addictive personalities. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, when you shared with me like your stories, I definitely related to a lot of those when it came to just like different substances. So that's like something we have in common <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wouldn't say it necessarily scares me. It's just nice to know that someone else has been through it too, though I wish they obviously wouldn't have gone through it. Yeah. How do you think our childhoods were different and how do you think it's affecting our relationship? Mm. <laughs> well, you definitely, it was completely different for so many reasons. Yeah, I guess even though my parents weren't always around and you know, bad stuff happened because of that, I never had to deal with like any questions about where I came from or who I was and I think that's probably the biggest thing because even when I mean people would bully me for being Asian or for being this or that you know I always was like well this is me you know and I feel like that would have been really hard if I just looked in the mirror and been like well, where am I from or yeah, yeah what makes me up so yeah I'm like really proud of you for going through that journey because I know you went through that too and she would tell me that exact thing that she would look in the mirror and just not be able to fully put herself together and that just I don't know that just feels painful even though we're like spirits in these bodies yeah having some kind of clear identity is really important just to our well-being so yeah I'm just like really <laughs> glad that you made it through thanks mm. How would you um, answer that to you? I was just reading it over. <laughs> um, well, I grew up just me and my parents. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it was interesting, um, but I definitely feel like when I was younger, I had like close friends around all the time, or like really good family friends, so it felt like more people were actually there. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, in my teenage years was when I started like putting things together and felt just kind of lost or like, yeah, like why? That question that's like repetitive, like why didn't my like parents want me or stuff like that, or like who am I? Or like what's my background? Like is there someone out there looking for me? Yeah. Um, and I would ask my parent, my parents that like raised me, my parents, um, I'd ask them those questions, and they were the ones who actually helped me find our mom. Whoa. <laughs> um, I think it's affected our relationship in a positive way. Like I said, like we missed all the fighting and like growing up. <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> There's no like so unhealed wounds between us. Exactly, yeah. So we just <laughs> got a clean slate and a bigger family. <laughs> yeah. If this were to be our last conversation, what's something you would never want me to forget? Mm, that I fully accept every part of you that may be messy or embarrassing or weird that I like love you so fully and I care for you probably more than you actually know <laughs> and yeah that I will do anything for you and <laughs> that being <laughs> that I would make sure this wasn't our last conversation <laughs> I would go to like the middle of Russia and just like find you <laughs> Yeah, I will do anything for you to just make you feel good in this life. <laughs>
I would do the same for you. I know. It's so funny. It's so, it's like weird to say that to someone like you've only, like we've known each other for three years but I've hung out like only a handful. It feels like so deep and like ancestrally intertwined that like when I say that I just feel like this, I don't know, warrior energy or something. Like that is my sister. That's my blood. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you loved it and you want to see more, there's two things you can do. You can either subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date with all of our newest videos, or you can support us on Patreon at theskindeep.com slash Patreon. Anything helps and we really appreciate it. So thanks for being with us.